So Zach was like a a unit armorer or something like that. He was... Oh, I know what guy you're talking about. I, some of his videos of his stories popped up in my recommended and I watched him. He's a small arms repairman. There you go. That's yeah, what the that's MOS what is. I don't remember the exact code for it, but fuck if I can remember all the codes. Yeah, so he's a small small arms repair. Do, so have you, you do you remember the Bradley story now? I don't think I ever heard that Bradley story now. Oh my god, it's 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 the most it was, I think Zach said it was his most infuriating story from the military. So he's in Iraq. Um <laughs> True, he was a zombie, but he was also our only pilot. Um, well, it's got a lot of, lot of nice restaurants and, you know. And, oh, sorry, I thought it was going to be a cutscene. So anyways, what ended up happening is that he's in Iraq, and he's in, it's the middle of the night. Uh, someone knocks on the door and says, uh, Special yes, Zach, yeah, get yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's time uh, to, there's a, uh, there's a call for you, right? So he gets up, he's like, fuck, you know, what's... Gets up, goes to take up the call, and it's someone on gate guard needs him to come and clear a Bradley that's just pulled into the gate. Um, oh. What? What? Is... Why do you have a chair? What? I have a chair. Is that custom? Right, keep going. That's, that has to be custom, right? It is, it is. I think I remember there was some custom melee weapons in this campaign. Anyways, keep going. So... He is like, he's like, what? You need me to clear a Bradley? Is like, I, I mean, I guess I haven't cleared one since Reloading. job training because apparently small arms repairmen are actually taught how to clear yeah. a Bradley because it technically counts as small arms, I guess. So I remember from one of his other videos, he, this was before my time. Uh, he was talking about how s there used to be a specific MOS for like, for dealing with either tank main guns or just the Bradley's main gun in general, but the army fucking. Something about budget cuts. Bob so they here. cut the MOS out and just folded the duty into small arms repairmen. Sounds about right. Yeah. So, oh, it's a special somewhere. Yeah, I hear him. No, just go ahead. Uh, so what ended up happening is that uh, he, he goes, well, where's the the crew, right? He's obviously, the first question is, why are you making me clear it? Where's the crew? And he's like, where's the driver? Uh, he's gone. Uh, okay, where's the tank commander? He's gone. Where's the gunner? He's gone too. And so um, he goes down to the gate, and the Bradley surprisingly is not blown to pieces, and the entire crew is dead and strewn across the inside. Um, it's a, looks a bit beat up, but he gets to it and he clears it, so on and so forth. And then he apparently hears the next day that this. The gate guards had noticed this Bradley that was just driving up and down the main route the day before, and just on, all on its own for some reason. And what ended up happening is that they eventually decide, after watching it for like a while, they decide to get into Humvee and go like flag it down because they're like, "What the hell is this Bradley just driving up and down the main route for by itself?" Right? Where do you think the story is going? Just I'm curious. Somebody was drunk in a Bradley. That's what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. That's what the fuck it sounds like. Drunk or high or something. So, <laughs> comes to find out that uh, they flag down this Bradley. They have to get in its way because it keeps trying to go around them in, in, in their Humvee. Um, and then there's a spitter at the end of the corridor on the right, by the way, down here. Yeah. And so they have to get in its way to, to get it to stop. Eventually it stops, and they have to convince the driver that they are indeed the U.S. military and that they're not going to shoot him as soon as uh, he hit, sticks his head out of the, the hatch. Um, and then it turns out it, it is actually a, a service member. It is actually the driver of this Bradley. Uh, but there's no gunner or tank commander in this uh, Bradley had been part of an armored vehicle convoy, and they had been on a patrol or some Reloading. shit. This is what Zack later heard, right? Oh, it's incendiary ammo here. Ammo. No, yeah. forward shit. Yeah. So, it was part of an armored vehicle convoy doing some type of patrol, right? And he gets hit with an IED, right? And uh, nothing is damaged by it, 
but they everyone's just shook up obviously you know it doesn't feel great to realize that you've come pretty close to being killed what the how the fuck did he i don't know that's neat i guess yeah uh, so nobody's, you know, it doesn't feel great to realize that you were very close to getting blown up. And so they keep, they start up the convoy again after moving the, I think the Bradley to a different spot. And they get hit with another ID. So this happens several times where they keep getting hit with these IEDs with the Bradley. And then they keep moving them to like a different spot in the convoy, but they just keep getting blown up. And eventually, the tank commander and the driver, after this happens several times, just decide fuck it, and they get out of the Bradley and load into one of the other vehicles and just leave the driver to drive the Bradley. Holy shit, that thing's riding him. And, oh, fuck. Ah, shit, I saw him around the corner, too. I'm getting on the roof here. So they leave the driver in the Bradley. And the next time, uh, they're going down the route again, and this time another it gets it with another ID. This one knocks out the Blue Force tracking and the radio this time. And the Bradley just stops moving from the perspective of the convoy. And then they decide, you know, he's got to be dead in that, you know, thing. And they just leave him. They leave the Bradley. I shit you not. Apparently that's Reloading. that's how the story goes. They they just leave him in the Bradley. Well, here's a Molly back here, brother, or a pipe bomb back that's, here. Reloading. That's honestly just fucking unbelievable. Like, oh yeah, he's dead. We're not even gonna check. Yeah. So I mean, thank God that they didn't just like you know pop. They open the the turret or op they didn't even check on the guy. The it's a good thing they didn't just like you know pop a thermite grenade in one of the hatches and call it a day. They would have fucking killed him, you know. Although, you know, maybe they would have seen that he was fucking alive if they opened the hatch. And let's also not forget, it's still a fully functioning Bradley. <laughs> Other than the Blue Force tracking and the radio being out, it's still loaded with ammunition. <laughs> they just left it. Fucking stupid. So, several hours pass, the guy wakes up in the driver's seat, and he's like, oh fuck. Because it, it turned night by this point, I guess. And he's like, oh shit, it is nighttime now. And I don't see any of the other vehicles. What happened? And he has a major concussion. It, yeah, I, I was going to say, when you're going on about getting hit by that many IEDs, I'm like, the drive, he's not drunk. He has a fucking TBI at this point. Yeah, like he has a major, major concussion at this point. So. Um, he can't see where anyone is because Blue Force tracking has gone out. Uh, he can't radio anyone on comms because the comms have gone out. And he has a major concussion, so even if, you know, this has been working, who knows if he would have, you know, had the, the, been in the headspace to even try to think of that stuff and just panic instead of just panicking. And then he just starts to do the only thing he can think to do in the middle of the night in this Bradley with a major concussion is just up, drive up and down the main route. And so that's what ends up leading to the gate guards noticing him. So, you know. Um, and then that was the end of the... That, as far as I know, that was what the end of the story. Me? Um, uh, supposedly, when on the video that Reloading. Zach Reloading. told the story, the someone mentioned that they were posted near the same area and they Go remember on. hearing about Reloading. what was it it's called like a stand down uh something i forgot there was a procedure or something where it's essentially just like oh no so it was re it was another military member re reacting to the cool. zach's video and the other military guy was like, why didn't they just, like, call off the patrol after a certain amount of times getting blown up with IED? Like, if you're getting hit with that many, like, you know, you can just maybe call it for the day. Like you know? Something like that. And there's apparently, like, a stand-down drill or something like that where someone that in the comments said they heard about, about this that, during the kid. time. So take it with a grain of salt. I, it wasn't able to be verified. But they mentioned... I mean, a lot of small shit like this is there's no way to verify it, especially in, what was it, 2004, 2005? Uh, 2009, like, I think. 
Was it? I think it was late, yeah. 2007 or 2009. I remember in the army in like 2004, 2005 and going over during the surge, but I might be wrong. Either way, I'm gonna hit this button. Okay. Uh, there's a spitter right outside, by the way. And a hunter. They're literally at the door. He's still alive. Oh, bitch. And what ends up happening is, according to the comment, is that they read about the incident in the Army Times. Boomer. And they read about the... So that essentially, according to the commenter, that the Army Times went over the incident and discussed... Well, they, they didn't go over the incident. They discussed doing these stand-down... Um, I don't remember what it was. But doing these stand down things, if you got into a situation like that, or it was like brought up or something like that, and um, they, because of that incident, and they did mention it in the Army Times, the incident happening. So, who knows? I know there was a massive, like, attempt to actually track down the issue in the Army Times. I, I even participated, because I wanted to know if it was true. Because apparently the tank commander and the gunner both got court-martialed for it, according to that uh, Army Times commenter. But without the proof of the incident, like written down, you really can't tell. But uh, yeah, that's that's the Bradley story. Yeah, I was wondering what your your thoughts on that would be. I don't know, LS is getting. I mean, I remember he told me he went over to Iraq during the surge, and in that time period, the army was let, letting literally anybody and everybody in. Yeah, I um, remember him saying that several and times. I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if some shit like that happened. As fucking dumb and outrageous as it is. Especially during, um, was it during Surge that the IED, like at that point the IED game was really ramping up as well? Yeah, was for, yeah. I mean the whole point of the Surge was to put more troops in country to fucking do counterinsurgency shit because it was just getting so much worse and the, uh, they didn't have enough bodies. Here. Which is why they call it the Surge, they flooded a whole ton of troops in and that's... Okay! <laughs> yeah, I saw that for a second, I was like, what? Fuck. Okay. Oh, hello. I have Molly. Where is he? I'm right through there. Oh, Ellis, get out of the fucking way. Just Ellis. throw it. Ellis will move. Got a nice open area to work with here. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little level design. This is actually the most uh, realistic feeling map I think I've seen in a while. Like, for like an open okay. area space like this? Like it's yeah, a park area. Cool. Man. All right. It's up here. Just fireworks boxes. Yeah, it would been nice to use. I, I noticed them when we got here, I just didn't say anything. Because I was like, oh, that's kind of useless. There's more here. And there's a horde coming. Oh, well, I guess fireworks would be a great time. I'm cool. I oh, there's a uh, explosive ammo here. On the stage. Oh, oh, I killed him. That's why. Oh, I'm already way up here. Oh, thanks for fucking off, Nick. I totally didn't need you with me. I'm on my own. Yeah, but so yeah, that's a Bradley story. Stand still. What other stories did you watch from him? Uh, there's one about a mortar. Yeah. UCP. Mark 19. Yeah. That was the most memorable ones. Did... Hmm. Oh, he also talked about his time at Fort Polk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Little classic. Uh, pills here, by the way. I'll grab those. Um, there was one as well about... Spitter around. Spitter? Apparently. Somewhere. There was one about... What was Small it top up here. Reloading. What, what was it? What was it? It was another one where he's in country. Oh, um, he... They have... What is it called? They do yearly, or... 
It's a weapons, like a company-wide weapons inspection. Qualifications, probably. No, 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 no well. inspection specifically of the weapons themselves. You're, you're not testing the, the person using it, you're testing the weapons themselves. Okay. So I think it's weapons inspection or something like that? But it's like the, the whole unit wide or something like that. It's fitted behind us. Nah, there's a boomer down there. I have no ammo this location. Oh god, I'm fucking seeing him. Oh, there he is. Oh, there she is. Um, and essentially, apparently, the, uh, according to Zach, they had, you're supposed to be in, like, twice a year or something like that, while, uh, they were not deployed. Wow, that is really loud. Yeah, I was set on, like, seven of them. Guess that would make sense. This draws fucking more zombies than I, oh yeah, here comes a horde behind us. And Jackie. Fight for them. So, um, there's like tw like twice a year they had to do these inspections or something like that, and when they were in country, that was while they were out of country, right? And then so when they're in country, they're like, okay, well, it's just not practical to do this, you know. Or maybe it was like every month or something, I don't remember. And they were just like, it's just not practical to do it, you know, X amount of time, so they loosened it up. Well, apparently they changed that decision and went back to their out-of-country deployment schedule for the inspection. Uh, uh, and Zach was not informed about it until the day before the inspection was due. And so he had to go around and gauge, like, the entire company's weapons. Like, like it's, who are, they're split between all their different cops. And he has to go to every single one, like, hitchhiking rides. In one oh, night, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Careful. I can hear a boomer. And so he just has to go around and he's like, well, fuck, thanks for telling me. As so he hitched a ride, like he described, like, yeah, throughout the entire night, he would hitch rides for like patrols that were going in between different cops and he would just, you know, have to go in between. And he gauged, I think he said like over 400, we he, he estimated that he gauged like around 400 weapons in a night. In 24 hours, I guess so, it actually would like be... what fucking entire infantry company? Well, he was he's he was gauging in... weapons for. Yeah, essentially, I think he was. What was he? he was in the forward support company? So, yeah. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, about 300 or weapons. It sounds about right. Yeah, so he was in the forward They're support including company. Including heavy weapons. Yeah. And he was the only uh, small arms repair person in the forward support company. So uh, yeah, about 400 weapons. In, in 24 hours or less, I think. Oh, it was because they were talking about the ARCOM award. You know, the Army Commendation? Yeah. Uh, what does the Marines have equivalent? I, I don't know. I don't pay attention to their accommodations and shit. Oh, I don't know why I wasn't healing. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and he was mentioning that he did that, and that was not ARCOM worthy. But he mentioned... <laughs> Uh, just a, a couple days after that, or like a couple weeks after that or something, uh, someone repaired... Oh, that's a car that, that will set off just now, that you just shot. I shot over it. Um... Gone. So, he mentioned that someone fixed the AC. Someone had put... the, the comp uh, company or battalion commander had put in a request to have the AC fixed on their vehicle, their Humvee. And, uh... So someone showed up to do it as per the ticket, you know, like how you would do it in a normal kind of repair functionality. Um, yeah. And uh, they got an ARCOM for that because it was the battalion or company commander that um, was affected. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking stupid. So they got that, but Zach did get got Reloading. fuck all except for a pat on the back, I think, at, at most for doing like 400 weapons in a night. Or stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's... Military with rewards and don't be really fucking stupid. People who should get them don't get them. And then you have dumb awards as well. Yeah. Oh, I think they also mentioned like um because they're in Louisiana, right? Or Zach was stationed at Fort Polk. They uh so they he was during he was there during Hurricane Katrina. And he got the Hurricane Katrina, what was it, the service Reloading. cleanup badge, or what, what was it called? It was a cleanup badge. I have no idea. It was something like you got a badge for participating if you were in the military with cleanup Reloading. or 
for Arcade Katrina. All he did was pick up sticks and pine cones on on base or something like that. I don't remember if it was just because he was bored and because there's nothing to do in the military a lot of times or what. Or if he was told to do it. And uh, he's like, I, he apparently tried to reject the medal when they gave it to him. They're like, I, I just picked up sticks and pine cones. Why am I getting a medal for this? Yeah. Is that witch was in a, a cosplay? <laughs> I kind of want to anger her just to see what the fucking. I, I want to do it actually. Okay. What is she? I don't even know what she is. She's not even bunny. a witch. She's literally just a bunny girl or some shit. Her, her. I was like, oh, it'd be kind of neat if it were a cosplayer or something, kind of like the the medit or the wedding witch. Yeah. But no, it's it's literally just a girl of human. Skin with uh, wearing a bunny costume. Reloading. Yes. Thank you, Nick. I'll uh, tell you a story. This is Killa's story. Uh, okay. Where I I can't remember if he got the fucking medal or not. He didn't elaborate on that. Uh, he uh, was on field exercise. I think he said it was like his company commander or something. Brought out a fucking Garmin GPS instead of using the micro dagger or whatever. And uh, there's a reason. Like, civilian GPSs aren't approved for use, because they can fail a mm -hmm. lot easier. And I'm sure there's, like, some other electronic warfare shit that's also a concern, but, uh... Yeah, his, uh, his Garmin fucking broke, and, uh, he was the only one there that could fix it, because the entire exercise got hung up because his fucking Garmin broke, <laughs> so he fixed it, and they're like, Hey, you want a medal for that? It's like, no. Yeah, I think we have to go down, not up. Yeah, I... Yeah, I a hunter's to our right. The, I remember this part of the campaign. Uh, it confused the shit out of us when we were stuck here for a minute trying to figure out where to go. Yeah, well, we can't I go... I can't... Can we break something or something? We I can't go through I can't these doors. There's a clear path over the... Oh, oh do wait. we have to Hang jump on. onto the thing? Yeah, yeah okay, I was about to say. That seems like it should be really hard for the I, I guess the yeah, A can get over pretty easy. Oh, pills. Reloading. But yeah, it seems like it a lot of times in the military. With uh, some of the ridiculousness. Like some people will just get medals from through nepotism. Oh, I think I hit something. Yeah, I think I Oh, hello. I think I hit a, a port event or something? This is it. Yeah, through yeah. the it. Through the fence? I don't know how that happened. Shot, but it I guess it was a barricade. What is this place? Nothing. It fucking looks like a salon, but there's a bed in the back. Yeah. There's nothing in this room. This is just. I don't know why they didn't just close all the way if they're gonna have nothing in the room. Why are these barriers red? Is this a Chinese thing? I have no idea. It might be. Why paint them? They come. Oh, here's a chainsaw, by the way. Chainsaw here. I'm not gonna take it. I'm stuck. Actually, I'm gonna take that. Oh, there's a chair as well. If you want to take that. Oh. But yeah, Zach has a lot of stories like that. Reloading. Not anybody that's been. Oh, I am at it. Even a two-year enlistment will fucking have a bunch of stories of stupid shit happening. Cause that's all the military is, it's just stupid shit happening. Reloading! Yeah. Oh? Reloading! I don't speak I, that one. I don't speak Chinese. I, I don't speak Mandarin. I don't want to say Chinese, it's Mandarin. If I have someone who's listening, I doubt it very much so. If someone who's listening that understands Mandarin, here you go. Ah. I'm out of ammo, by the way. Oh, this what? Why is this trash can lit up? Oh, what? Come here, come here. This trash can is filled with ammo. Oh, it's not even like open to show that there's ammo inside. It doesn't open when you click on it. It just you just get ammo from it. Mm. Very cool. I guess it's a Chinese thing. You'd think that would be an American thing, but. Been American, I think Americans would use their fucking ammo. 
If there were just so much ammo that they just had some laying in the street. Like, the fact that we could reason the Almost there. There's a lot of ammo in there, there's probably like $2,000 worth of fucking ammo. It's just in that one Destroy trash the room. vehicle. I guess uh, we have to just shoot it a whole bunch. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's why oh, they gave yeah, us ammo reloading. right here. To make yeah. sure we could actually do it. Although, I don't know why you just wouldn't, like... There's other better ways to do that? I don't know. I'm just gonna go. This actually kind of sucks as I'm here to hold out, to be honest. About right here, I would say, in this corner. Yeah. Just keep hitting me, to be honest. Shot him like six times. Yeah, we're gonna need to get that new ammo, or more of the ammo, too, after this. I know. Have you noticed, by the way, that we have not gotten any, like, high-powered weapons? I have a finale. Well, I mean, like, we haven't, we've seen a couple, like, normal Uzis. We've seen the tier 1 weapons, yeah, but this is the, the Benelli we found is the only uh, tier 3 weapon. And there's a hunter, I think, as well, maybe? Or a smoker? Yeah, it's a hunter. Can't get through here. Oh fuck, I thought oh. I hit right click. I'm about to go down. Yep. Shit. That took all my health. Thanks. Yeah, hunters kill you really quick on advanced. Yeah. I like how we just come into some of these rooms like a hit squad. There's a pipe bomb here, by the way. Reload. Nah, I'll grab that. It's under the table. Taking pills. Got it. Something just exploded? Yeah, there was a profane tank in there and I shot it. Oh. Nothing here. We can't get around, we gotta go around left. Oh, nice. Oh, that was hard. We're fucked. No, just get back in here, dude. There's a corner. I'm, I'm too late. I'm too late. I'm running the street. Yep. At least we can cover you from here. Yeah, that's why I came over this way instead of going further. Oh, the jockey was just swiping at me, too. Yeah, for God's sake. That's my own fault, I suppose. There's a boomer to my right, by the way, if you want to shoot him while we're on the street. Just I've him. already moved. Oh, I got him. He was just sitting there doing nothing for some reason. I gotta heal him black and white. Cover me. I'm going to pack okay. my Okay, I'm gonna go check. Yeah, this is the way we have to go. There's a defib in here yeah, if you want to come grab it. About. Yeah, I will since he's gonna make it. Probably should back shoot one of the AI. The paddles here. Nah, save it. Yeah. I don't think Nick's black and white yet. We'll know when he gets down again, so. Yeah. For now, he's just an extra gun. Put the aim there, watch it. I think we have to go down, maybe? No, it's just a hole there. It's very... Oh, I think I was just... oh there's an artillery box up here and a med kit. That probably has ammo in it. I would hope. Oh, it's an artillery box. Oh no, box. it just opens up. It has a... No, it is an ammo box. Ammo here. Where? Oh, here. Right here, the one I'm standing oh, well, on. Well, I dropped my gun by accident. I'll take I won't this do one. that. Yep. I have seriously... There's just tons of them. Yeah, this is a long level. It is fairly long. How long we've been I remember this campaign being fairly long, right up until it crashed. Nine minutes. This is almost the length of the entire parish, I think. Incendiary yeah. ammo in here. Uh, we got uh, we have to kill one of the AI now because there's a med kit here. This is not how it's going. I think? Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, we don't have to kill him, you can just drop the defib. It's true, but I guess so, because we would get a defib penalty if we... Oh, fuck's sake! Wow, he just Turn went corner, right man. past me for you. Right there. Don't go to... Oh. Oh. Don't go to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, I recorded that. That was fucking funny. Yeah, I record. I was recording. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a highlight.
I like to see that from your perspective, from though. Yeah. Shit. I might just splice the two together, to be honest. Like, cause that would be fucking amazing. Reloading. I can see all my fucking weeaboo characters. <laughs> They just have like the USS team Stop from me. one of the Resident Evils. Or the the UTS team team, I believe. Oh, we're in the slums now. Oh shit, Nick's getting carried oh. away. Oh, he's down. Mm. Oh, the jockey's Why is still that... not dead. How? Oh my god, there's more ammo in a trash can back there. Uh oh. Thank you. Ammo here. Why is there goodies in here? Ooh, there's more. Ammo. I guess maybe because they pr like. Pr Are you healing? Oh no, it's yours. No, that's instant ammo. No, no, so I, I was the the med kit on the thing. Heal. I thought it was spare. Yeah, I it was mine. It's yours. Oh fuck out! I have a molly. Nah, there's a gas can right here. I'm just gonna shoot okay. it. Okay. I guess we just use our pistol to be honest. I only have a I have a chainsaw, so I'm on fire. Just start that going. If he goes out, I'll shoot him again. But... No, I fucking gas cans are uh, permanent fire. Instant ammo is not. Ah. That wears out. He's dead. Cool. Hey, Jockey. Jockey. Killed it. No, fat nice. cow. Why is there just a Reloading. I think this is a pretty good likeness of China. I've never been personally, so I can't tell you, but it looks pretty good. I would never want to go to China. Yeah, I wouldn't either, but you know. Oh, it's pretty what nice in here actually. No. Yeah. Got some finally some tier two. Ellis, please. I only got some tier two weapons. Oh hell yes! Yo. You'd think the AK would be more prevalent. Or not the AK, the um I guess they can't force weapons. I guess well I guess they could force weapon skins if they wanted to. Yeah, they could definitely could force weapon spawns. No no, I mean like weapon skins for the certain No, they can't because it would override or conflict with uh weapon mods. I think I I meant like it could be intended. If you get what I mean. Yeah, no, most camp. I don't think I've ever seen a campaign that does that though. They just have optional weapon additions. Yeah, or recommended. Yeah. I guess I'll drop my laser sight UMP for a. Uh, not UMP. My laser sight silenced SMG. Is it a silenced Uzi? What is it? It's a Mac 10 or 11, one of the two. Yeah, I have an M4 A1, like no scope. Just like iron sights. I, that's a little other carry thing. handle. Or uh, no carry handle. Oh, depressing. Yeah, it's like M4. Right? Is that A1 still has the uh, A1 is full auto? Yeah. No. Yeah, I know it's full auto, but like it's the one that doesn't have the carry handle. No, both M4 and M4 and M4 A1s didn't have carry handles. Because mm. okay. the. Uh, the very the absolute earliest iterations of the M4 were in the very late 90s. There were ones that had fixed carry handles, but they were pretty much uh, never I'd throw a pipe. I don't have a pipe. Oh, shame. That's a lot of Oh, pipe. there's a pipe right here. Yeah, maybe it's intentional. Actually, now. no. There's, there's not enough of the pipe here. Not anymore, yeah. Uh, there's something coming from behind, though. Charger? Yep. Charger is behind you. This way. Better front. It's blocked away for you. I'll be fine. Coming. Oh, hello. Just put a load of buff shot in the back of Nick's head. That was cool. You got a defib unit. You know, now that this, uh, M, this it's an M16, but the M4, now that I have the M4, I want to fire more selectively. Just the sound for it. What did you say? Me... You cut off. Oh, did I? 
Can you hear me? Careful. Smoke. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can now. You cut off earlier. Yeah, well, here's the issue. I was, I went to look to see if TeamSpeak crashed right as I, uh, the jockey came around the corner. So. Yeah, I went back to save Ellis right as that, when that jockey came after you, so. Yeah, I figured. Nick cannot seem to, oh, he figured it out. So, uh, what was I saying? I don't know, you got cut off. Uh, well, did you hear, like, anything I was saying? I'm too young to feel this I way. heard, you know, and then... That was the end of your Shit. You speaking. Oh, in here. Oh, we yeah. gotta break through here. How would you go? Did you oh, shoot? fuck. That doesn't matter. Oh. Now that I have a... Um... Now that I have an M16, or the M4A1... The sound of the M4A1 okay. makes me want to fire it. Let's it just sounds go. wrong. Like it just something was very okay. wrong about hearing it fired full auto. Mm. And now I'm I want to be more selective with my shots. Like instead of the M16, M16 you just blast, right? But the sound yeah. of it with the M4 makes me want to like lightly squeeze the trigger like you would if you're oh, fuck fired. No. Oh shit! Oh, I have shotgun ammo. Nice. Better. Oh, come Better. here. Oh, ruined it. Are you gonna get rid of the chainsaw? Uh, we got a horde coming from I behind. I was going to, but she's dead now. Horde coming behind, we're going. We're gonna keep pushing forward so I can find Three. ammo. Yeah, this is a. This is some grim shit we got. I don't know. Oh wow, I'm on one HP. I'm gonna pop an adrenaline. <laughs> Take your pills for adrenaline, yeah. So there's no tr ammo in these trash cans again. I hear a wish. Oh, I thought I just heard voices. Oh, there she is. Okay, not going that way. There's laser sights over here. There's a boomer, and I've been puked on. Where was it? Uh, above me, right? Okay. Hunter. Oh, fuck off. These sights. I can grab one, I guess. I need ammo, though. My shotgun's empty. And All in here. Yeah, I'm almost out of ammo, too. Oh. Those. Fireworks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now is the time we need to have trash can. Defib. Defib. Ammo. There's a giraffe. Awkwardly here. There's a chainsaw in there. We have to oh, open the garage door. It's probably a warm. Here. Is there anything else in there? Oh, well, Ellis started the Oh, well, by oh, Ellis. Bye, Ellis. Yeah, fuck. I'm not going back there. No pressing. No oh, shit. You screwed us. Yep. Oh, there's a gas. Gas and a chain. That was literally it. Just gas and chainsaw. Grab a new chainsaw. Though. Didn't alert a horde. I guess. Oh, Jockey. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Jesus. Uh, down the man? No, not down the man. Oh, where the fuck do we go? Oh, up here. Oh, it's up here. Okay, we would not be able to climb this. I would. I would not. I don't have well, the I mean, balance for it. Honestly, with Chinese metallurgy, that pipe probably would crack. Fall apart under our weight. Boomer. Oh, Hunter. Boomer behind us. Nope. Oh, shit. Fuck. <sighs> so oh, I, just off That's not good. I can't even get off the roof somehow. It's not letting me. Because you're surrounded. No, no, no. Like I, it would not let me actually back oh. off the roof. 
Like it was like almost like there was an invisible barrier. Okay, got our appeal again, black and white. How long does this? Oh, I, I kept forgetting that we've already gone to a safer. I was like, how long does this fucking mission go? This pipe bomb in there. Oh, I remember where. This is the end of it right here. There's a running section through there. We have to run. Oh, all right. Guess heal up. A pipe bomb. Or nah, I'm not gonna heal up. I'll save it. Go ahead and shoot it, because I have no ammo to shoot it with. Don't, don't get close to it. It's gonna explode. And start running. Uh, should I throw a, head, a pipe bomb ahead? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Or a charger. Just go, just go, just go. Oh, wait. Oh, there's fucking Alice ahead. Is there not a safe house up here? I thought there was. Oh, it's a broken. Oh, there's ammo right here. And there's bot oh, crate. There? Yeah, next to the door. I like oh, how it didn't you? show up until after we ran Fuck. past it. Where? Oh, are you good? I got it. I think yeah, there's a med kit. Make it on this guy, on his body right here. I'll heal and grab it if the AI is not going to. You need it. It was on that dead body, so I think it. Oh, fuck a lot. It's a witch. Yeah, she's right in the way. Is she yeah, still we wearing her. a. Why are they. Yep. Don't shoot that car. Next, Earl the Witch. Oh. And she was really close to dying, too. Wow, that's really shitty luck. Oh, it's close to ammo. I'll put behind. that down. Thank you. That's what I do, Nick. Cool. And this, is, this is dead ends down this alley. Alright, well, I gotta go back the other way then. I think I stepped in front of you. There's a charger as well. Yeah, he's in front of the barriers. Or on the right? Yeah, he's in there. Ooh, oh wow, that was close. That was really Some close. I don't know how I missed him. Bile jar in here. You wanna grab it? Like it. A lot of people on the main street. Knife, fucking. I'm a reload. That's oh med kit back here. Taking it. Yeah, I grab it. I already have one. I saw a pipe as well, but uh, smoke behind. There's a horde coming from the roof above and down this road from us. I'm just gonna throw a pipe down the road. Yeah, I'll try this. There's a smoker around here. Trying to keep an eye out for that smoker. Got a there he is. How, he, how many explosive rounds does it take to kill a boom or a smoker? Jesus. You shouldn't even. Charger. Oh, <laughs> it's sick. They hate me today. I mean, yeah, they do. Yeah, you had your bad luck. Now I'm having mine. That was a owl kit or a wall kit, rather. What do you call them? Owl cabinet. There you go. Yeah, med medical cabinet. I can for it. Pills, just pills. In there. Take. Reloading. There's yeah, a, I grabbed something in this tent. I couldn't see what it was on the floor. Med kit. Nice. Heal, heal, and take that med I kit. These pills. Well, who's lower? You. No, no, I meant overall. There's a smoker behind us. Stop, guys. Well, I mean, Nick's the lowest. I have to heal. Oh, Alice already took oh, it. Oh, well, there's a jock behind us as well. You guys are gonna miss me. <laughs> Juggy. Double whammy. Double whammy. I didn't see this better. Another first aid in that other tent right there that I tried to go into. I think. Yep. Reloading. You have to crouch to get in here. No, you don't. You just gotta go on the left side. Uh, there's a bit of a hitch. Yeah, yeah. Nick's trying to get it. Oh, Nick, yeah, you took uh, it. <laughs> that was a waste of mine. Well, we all have a first aid now, so. Oh, now you don't anymore. Yeah, you just. Oh, we gotta go up that ladder on the right and check this tent. The tent. 
I only have six shells oh. left in the shotgun. Oh. I got some ammo. Oh, oh no. wow! There's some more explosive. There's two sets of explosive ammo here. Why? Or Cindy, are you, uh, hunter on your left. Oh, I think there's about hunter on your left. Order. Hunter on your left. Down below. There he goes. Nice. Yeah, there's probably about to be a oh ammo pile in this trash and uh, yes. horde. Yeah, it's got to be a hold of them, I imagine. No, the music just played for a horde. No, no, I meant, I mean, also in general. Oh. I'll take, I'll hold on to one of the explosive ammo since uh, I don't have anything in my slot currently. I guess I'll deploy the other one while we're here. Oh, there's a pipe bomb here. I'll switch out for the uh, boom vial. Or I'll switch out for the boom vial. Alright, you wanna put one of those special yeah. ammo down? I'll put it down here next to the generator. Deploying explosive rounds. Alright, go grab the other one and I'll hit the generator. Cool. Ammo here. Got it. Oh, the other one's incendiary rounds. Okay. Don't make a difference. Oh, look at the place to hold. The truck or the vent? Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, charger behind us. What are you gonna do? Oh, through the bile. Through a bile, the bile door. Is this our escape, or is this just to get out of this area? I think it's just, if I remember correctly, the van is gonna bust down that gate. That's what I figured. Wow, that was, uh, not the jinx us, but that was pretty, uh. Hold up, gonna heal. Oh, there's gonna be more. There we go, van's going. Is it? Okay. There's got there's some good textures they're using here for this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, oh. honestly, it's a pretty well polished campaign in terms of map design. I like it. Yeah, I think there's a little bit too much claustrophobia with certain stuff. Tank. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, we gotta run. He's climbing over. Yeah, run. Hey, pills. There's a first aid in the back of the truck here along with special ammo. I'm gonna put down frag ammo in here. Yeah, I'm gonna put down the uh, ammo outside. Or no. I'll wait till we use this one. Oh, did I. Did I throw away the. Wait, what happened? You probably picked up the first aid I put like this in the back of that truck. Yeah, but I. No, I'm a whole lot. When I have time to think, I'll start here. I'm playing. Oh, fuck. I just cornered myself in the here. He's dead. Extent. I didn't have the uh, medical kit yet, but when I went to get the ammo you put down in the truck, I didn't have anything in my... Oh, there it is. It's just on the floor outside. Yeah, the incendiary ammo. Yeah, so I'm going to put this incendiary ammo down now. Oh, yeah. Deploying incendiary ammo. Oh, yes. cool. Let's move on. Charger. Piss off. Yeah, we haven't had really any good secondaries this entire campaign other than the chainsaw and the chairs. Yeah, we haven't found a deagle or even a secondary pistol, I don't think. No, we haven't seen one since the beginning. I don't even think there was one at the beginning, it was just the one you got. No, I don't you know, I don't like we found anything other than melee. I guess it's a more realistic take, you know, there wouldn't just be a ton of pistols around. Or well, I disagree, or cops like that. exist. That's true. If anything, the pistols should be more common than long guns. Oh, or or many or you say. Yeah. Come from behind, mostly, it looks like. You have to go down? Yeah, we have to go down. Yeah, we gotta go down this alley. Reload. Is that the safe house? It is. Safe house. Oof. Oh, wow, that was a big FU. Oh, there's a second yeah. pistol. Hey, finally. Is there Which nothing? Oh my inside. god, there's nothing in here. The it's first aids. Shut no, 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 no. It's just the first aids and the pistol. No ammo. Oh, great. No ammo, no other weapons.
So I am assuming it's very much going for a more realistic take on surviving. Although I see that, but then they have ammo in trash, so I don't know. I really have to, like, I would love to pick someone's, bur like, whoever made the, the map's brain on why they did that. Did you get kicked out? No, I'm still in here. I oh, think. here's, here's the wild load, yeah. There you go. Oh, I thought we had to go up the stairs. No, we just moved these boxes from the window that's boarded up. Oh, it's nighttime. Shit. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, this is the mission that, uh, last time I was playing through this with, I think, Skelly and someone else, it crashed. Oof. So, Second we'll last. see. Oh, what the fuck? There's one underneath, yeah. Oh, it's not nighttime. It's getting close, though. It's dusk. It's... I'm gonna say this is nighttime. Oh, here's a tier 2 weapon. A scar L of you. I guess we did get the M16, which is tier 2. Oh, here's laser sights, too. Oh, here's ammo. And a deagle. Laser oh, you got AK as well, if you want to put laser sights on that. Where? I don't see that. There's, it's in the back of this Humvee here. Oh, okay. Laser sights here. Curiously, he chose to use the Humvee still. Oh, yeah, I changed out the... Uh, it's not like there's models for Chinese military vehicles in Left well, 2. Well, you know, I mean, like, yeah. I, I switched up the... It's not like there's models for them in general. Most people just don't make that stuff. True. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, what? Do we not go here? No, it's... that's dead end. We just go down the road. This, uh, over these... Why is this an opening, boxes here. Cricket bat here. Oh, wow. I almost walked into her. Yeah, I, uh... Chose I switched out the AK for this Japanese rifle that was like the replacement for like the M1 Grand, and that the you mean the Mini 14, the hunting rifle? No, no, no. Uh, it was their version of assault rifle, but it's not the M1 Grand. Then what was Type the... 89? I think so. No, no, it's it's Japanese. I know Type oh, 89. Maybe. There's like an H or Is something. It, does it have wood furniture or polymer? It's got a wood uh, buttstock. Okay, that's a Type 64. Yeah, it's their battle rifle. Does it have a straight yeah. magazine? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a battle yeah, rifle. Yeah, that's, that's Type 64. Rifle. It's used by the designated marksman of the squad. What is the GSDF's, like, mainline rifle? Uh, it was the Type 89, which is an AR-18 clone. They, Fine. they're recently switching over to something else, which is basically a SCAR clone. I can't remember what it is called, though. Hmm. But Type 89s are going to stay in service for a while. The JSDF, in terms of what they put budget to, their ground forces are the last fucking people to get budget, especially the infantry. Oh, uh, which, right next to that fucking hunter, I almost shot the wind. Um, I, I know that the JSDF, hey, most of their, their Type 89 specifically are so fucking old and deprecated that, uh, they have little manuals they give to soldiers of how to tape shit up so it stops falling off and you don't lose it. <laughs> Jockey, front, shit. I have that, I have that. Boomer. If I can find it. Watch the witch over there. Uh, incendiary fucking ammo incendiary here. ammo. Everyone, grab some incendiary ammo. Yeah, but I picked it up off the workshop just because I was like, ah, I need something new that's not a fucking anime weapon that doesn't have skins and doesn't have like nil spec. Uh, really, and Nick? Scopes and oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot the weapon. Please shoot it. It's gonna kill me. Please shoot it. Please shoot it. I'm sorry. Wow, this is a really bad start. Yeah. My bad. We literally just got out of the safe room, too. Help me out. Thanks, bro. Uh, well, you know, this is the one time we need a defib and it's not here. Hell no, I ain't crying. Nothing to worry about. Hey. Also, there's another med kit here underneath the. Alright, Ellis, do you. Okay, I'll heal, I'll heal you. So I'll heal you. Pick up this thing. It's just under the tire. Do you see this? No, there's another med kit inside the. That's probably mine. They got flung. Oh the yeah, because there's, there's another your med kit inside weapon. that store there. Oh yeah, you're right. And an epipen. Is there a defib though? Nope. 
It's more. I need this. Oh, there's a horde coming out. Oh, there's a horde. Well, that was interesting. Reloading. I'll take the spills then. No defib. Where the fuck did he go? Hunter, he died. Hunter. Somewhere. That was a radio. I was like, where is that? I thought it was in the store for the moment, but it's not. Nope, not here. Not here. One thing I do like about this campaign is that exploration is actually re rewarded for a change. Yeah, in comparison to uh, crossing over. Yeah, and like there's and stuff to explore. Pills here. Uh, still more pills. Uh, oh, again. I have no idea. Careful, smoker. Hunter or smoker. Where you go from here? But the smoker came from over here. But that's just because it has a place you can jump over. I thought it was this open door here, but... And, oh! I'm trying okay. to figure out where you're supposed to go, but I can't. Okay, walking to a room full of dead. Oh, here. I fucking just straight up past it. Ah. I went tried going upstairs. Oh. <laughs> I walked right into that, too. You know? Reloading. All, all three of us reloaded at the same time. That's not great. Reloading. Well, there's gotta be a door around here eventually where you respawn, so. There's just not so many. Oh, I might have ammo. Fuck. I should loot the deagle off your dead body. I, I didn't have it. one, I just had two pistols. I thought you had Reloading. the deal. Oh, uh, someone in the AI must have picked up the deal. Oh, here's another one, Magnum though. Here. I switched it out for a different version of the Magnum, the 44 from Power Worker. Ah, oh, shit, shit, mm -hmm. fuck. Cool. Fuck you. Yeah, I switched it out for one that's only slightly. Oh, for <laughs> God's sakes. I thought he was about to charge me for a second. Forward. Oh, it's on both ends. Yeah, I switched out for one that's like slightly less cancerous than the uh, other one. Uh, Nick, Alice, guys, thank you. Do you see that shit? No. They were. I would. They were just the Jackie was writing me, and uh, okay. What is this for? What is what for? Did you see this? Like this opening? Who would design it like that? I guess if you were need to run pipes between, but like, there's a shotgun, a machine uh, gun, violence SMG. Rochelle, you don't look so good. Look at the size of this door, by the way. Uh, what door? Green door here. Ah. Oh. It's literally twice my height. I don't... Man... Yeah, I think actually a lot of these doors are. This gas can. I thought that was another witch. Oof. That was close. That was just better. Man, it'd be really control. cool if I could play the game. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a novelty? There you are. Just at the end of the street. You're acting as a beacon for us to run to. Okay, uh, if we can... Oh, okay, I forgot. Come on, y'all. I need to get out of here. Hey. Hey, hey. welcome back. Oh, there's a defib right next to this hey, fucking it. room. Oh, fuck There's me, a deal there. Oh, and a deagle. I'll take that. All right, let's go. No, I'm being healed. One sec. I'm completely out of main gun ammo. Oh, all better now. What do you have for your primary? Um, pump shotgun. Hmm. 
There's some weapons like two streets back if you want to go that way, but. Nah. Bottom. Oh, charger, charger, charger. Okay. I can broke out of that. There's a hunter too. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna get in here because there's a horde coming. Yeah. There's one behind you actually. It's dead now. I burned out that other room. Don't go yeah, in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a hunting rifle in there. Yeah, I'll grab that. Reloading! Ward's still coming from behind. I have to navigate all those narrow alleys. Alright, fire's out. Reloading! Let's press on. Reloading! I thought my aim has gotten worse with the Magnum than... I hate those jockeys. Jockey. Somewhere. Jockey! Oh, it's coming in behind where we were. It's Reloading. coming behind us. Yeah. Nice shot! Just take it. Smoker as well somewhere. Don't know where. Let's keep going. Oh, there's another weapon here. Right, now the hunting rifle. What is it? Yeah, that's... What is that? Ooh, first love. Interesting. What the hell is this place? Oh, you can get into it. Wait, wait, wait. You can see into it. Oh my god, look. Here. Look. Come here. Look inside. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I don't know if I can okay. show that on camera. So... Do not go in there. The place on the left? Uh, you'll you'll see when walking by why not to go in there, but the main reason is uh, Skelly decided to fuck with every witch in there, and it crashed all of us, so let's try to avoid doing that. Oh my god. Just, oh, fuck's uh, sake, uh, Nick. <laughs> it was only one, though, so... Yeah, hopefully it crashes and it dies. There we go, it's dead. Okay, let's just bypass the place. So is it just like a bot, like a like a strip bar or something? A strip. It's like a brothel or something. Oh, oh fuck! Nice. They're all coming from this way. I'm trying to fight. Sure to go oh, there was there a fucking fuck propane with... tank right next to us we could use. Oh, yeah, he went in there and them. fucked with every single witch, <laughs> aggro all of them that crashed us. I I like how the audio is not making it so we hear them from so far away. Because remember yeah. in, uh, not crossing over, but Fort Gnosis, we could hear the witch through the entire fucking building. All right, weapon. Yeah. Oh, I remember man. that. Uh, we, I guess we drop down here, unless we can go inside here. Oh, fuck! I think we do have to go in there, actually, because that just goes back down to where we were. Oh, well, so hell. Joggy. Yeah, the vectors are coming from this way, so... Behind you. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, he took it for you, so... What the fuck is this dog food? Oh, fuck. Nick! Oh, dog food is ammo. I didn't know that they started loading dog food with ammo. Who's playing? I don't know. It's coming from this cart. Or the bag? Uh, some kind of, like... It's it? probably like a popcorn stand or something, just didn't work. Ambience. Yeah. Kinda haunting, not really. I need to stop swerving when I'm up front. I've noticed that, really that a lot. I think all of us do that to an extent, but I think I do it probably the worst. JC I think does a little bit worse than me, but... Is that is this a dead end back here? This way, yeah, it is. We gotta go down those stairs. A four coming over the four, barrier. Right behind us. I'm going down the stairs. There's a charger. Go, go, go. Oh, there goes Nick. Dead. dead end this way. I dropped that defense back there for the first aid, so. I just keep going, I guess. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a long campaign. It is a pretty long one. We've been going for an hour already, and we're only on the fourth mission. And you haven't seen what the fifth. Oh, I fucking lunch. blasted you. Yeah. And oh, I'd be surprised uh -oh. if we aren't close to the healing? end here. Yeah, I'm gonna healing. heal up, and then Ellis will grab the other one. I'm sure. Uh, or not? Maybe not. Or he's waiting until we're halfway through to heal. Jackie coming in front of me. And yeah, here to my right. Yeah, there. there they are. 
Okay. Uh, did we go through here? Or did we go yeah, on the we roof there? there. Good to go. Okay. Let's get in here. What do you think about horror games, by the way? I don't like them. You know? Nope. Why? I mean, but I think the tank from okay. somewhere. Don't have a Molly, Got a so... Nope, we're gonna have to shoot him to death, great. There he is. Magazine nope, going nope, nope. upstairs. And Alice is dead. He's even wailing on Alice. Oh, okay, whoops. fuck, never mind. Ow. Pull to the right, keep falling back. Oh, we got stuck. Ow, oh, fuck's fuck. sake. I want to take those pills. Yeah, something for healing. Hit it! Hit it! I'm going back on the stairs. Of the head. Oh, what, 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 what? He teleported. What? Oh, that's cool. Keep falling back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, all that healing we had, pretty much gone. <laughs> There's a little bit of my oh. own incompetence stepping oh, into your yeah. line of fire about six times, but Gra you know. take some more pills there. There's three. That's true. I'll take one. And I guess Grab give Ellis. one to Ellis. Unless he already has one. Much mm, he doesn't. Okay, yeah, I'll go back and get the last one then. Just wait on me. Oh, hey, there's an AK with laser sights and a bunch of spaghetti arms from dead survivors. Oh, these are Left 4 Dead and 1 survivors dead in here for me. Where? Oh, Down here. Yeah. yeah. I'll just call this the other team because I have them. Yeah. Uh, I have the set as uh, the UST or US whatever <laughs> from Umbrella or from Resident Evil that are. that replaces both teams. Okay, there's a horde coming. Go back to that room. Yeah, spare front. Oh, hard behind too. Reloading here. I'm reloading. So, what are you saying about horror games? I don't like them. Uh, primarily because fuck off. Oh man. Don't hit the car, please. Yeah, primarily because. Um, I mean, you're just defenseless in them. All you can do is run from shit, and I hate being forced to run from things. What about, like, true survival horror games? Some of them can be. Um, here. Like, whatever, Resident Evil 2 remake, I would not enjoy that. I, I didn't like it on principle for a lot of the other changes, but yeah. yeah it's still survival horror, horror, in my opinion, but, um, I don't know. Double back, because there's a broken into the safe room here. We'll have to warn. Oh, never mind. It just goes up the same way, anyways. But yeah, it's just some of them are fine, but most of them are just not enjoyable for me because it's just it's too much of a focus on flight rather than fight. Mm -hmm. And I don't like running from the battle. I just don't like having to run from shit and with literally no option of fighting it. Like, I can't even shoot the fucker to slow him down. Yeah, I think that, um... I don't know. I know that their Resident Evil has focused more on stalker-type enemies since Resident Evil 7, um, where you'll have... You'll still have, like, kind of some several horror elements, but it's... They're usually, like, some type of stalker. Uh, yep. Resident Evil 7, there was too many stalkers and too few, like... I mean, they were still, like, the mold, but they were pretty boring to look at, because it's just a bunch of amorphous blobs. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I didn't buy Resident Evil 7. Like, the big thing was, like, you're just forced to run from it. It's not fun. Yeah, there was a little too many stalkers and I, from that, and then the, the and other enemy variety was really boring. Just, like, Reloading. you know... Hunter. Jesus. And then it was the same shit with Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, it's just, not only are you being Ned forced to like that stalker gameplay, it's, um, the enemies you fight, like the zombies, it fucking scales the amount of ammo you find to how much you already have. Yeah, I, that, that I don't like it, it should be 
random, like, you know. Yeah, and it all, it scales the damage, too. Like, the more ammo you have, the less damage you fucking do. Like, that's just stupid. You're punishing people for being intelligent with their resource managing. Yeah, that's just bullshit, that plan. Like, either it should be completely random, or it should be a finely crafted, very finely tuned experience with very specific map placement. You know what I mean? Got yeah. Got Fucking special. Jesus. That was a chaotic mess. Okay, can we get past this fucking intersection, please? Oh, there's uh, Ellis. Or Nick. Ellis is about to die, though, so. Maybe it's a trade off. I don't know where the fuck this guy is. Oh, he's over here. Oh, here? Yeah. Oh, hey, the go. first machete of the campaign. Wow. In oh, cleaver and machete, yeah, Molly. And there's a ton of gas right there. Yeah, like, whenever everyone was playing, like, Amnesia, like, way back in the day, like, the original, I was like, is yeah. this fun? I'm like, I can't see anything that's happening. Granted, you know, YouTube wasn't great at the time for, like, resolution quality and stuff like that. I was like, the game is so dark, like, when I'm watching this, I can't tell if anything's happening. Oh, dude. Yeah, no, it's, and I look at it, I'm like, all you do is run from this. That's all you do. That's not fun. Yeah, that's why I, I, I know some people disagree with me about it. Um, defib here. That Might want to heal I up think... and grab that then. Reloading. Nah, I'm good. No, you're gonna run out eventually of that temporary health. You might as well. Okay. I, like, I know some people disagree with me. I didn't oh, like yeah, Alien Ice. I, from watching Alien Isolation, because I don't usually buy games just like immediately anymore. Like I did as a kid where I'd like pre order, pre order. Nowadays, I'm like, yeah, I don't okay. pre order shit anymore. At all. Yeah, like nowadays I'm like, no, I'm not pre ordering shit. I have to watch shit to see what's in, in, like how it's gonna look. And I was like, Alien yep. Isolation, I was like, oh, okay. It, it didn't really like appeal to me, but I was like, you know, watching it. And the people were describing it as like a survival horror. I'm like, it has survival elements, but it's I would not classify it as survival horror because for for example, the alien is invincible. And you know Yeah. It's you can't kill it, you can just you can harm it. And I think you can kill the angry Joe or the working Joes. You can kill those. But yeah. yeah, that's a pain to do. Oh, it's just, you are so heavily disincentivized from it. Yeah, and then if this you're if end. you're supposed to be not drawing attention, because I think it also draws the a aliens' attention to you or something like that. So you're very heavily incentivized to not fight at all. Like, even when you have ample supplies, it's not like a balance between, like... It, 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 it doesn't matter how you have any ample supplies, they do fucking nothing. Yeah. Well, it, 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 like... First aids and shit. Yeah, I picked up... I dropped the defib because of the... Right, heal up. Alice and grab one. He's probably blind. Oh, fuck, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I thought I killed him, but he wouldn't. How many fucking McDeagle rounds does it take? Jesus. No, Nick grabbed the other first dude. I'm swapping the bio bomb for a alt, or the pipe bomb. Right. But like, um. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, I know. I was trying to get that smoker. He was still on the corner, but he wasn't. But like, in the alien isolation instance, it doesn't uh, benefit you at all Don't shoot that much. because of um, the alien following you. Like, if it were just, like, another stalker character that wasn't based on sound, it wouldn't probably be as bad. Because then you could actually yeah. afford to use your resources without being actively punished. Outside of the fact that you're using your resources, right? Yeah. But, um, the fact that the alien does come to sound means that you are actively punished. Oh, yeah. fuck. Has there been a AI. single instance when they have not? No, they... they... There we go. We killed her for once, though. Yeah, before you downed anyone. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, but it, it, you're, when you're adding an extra fu by the fact that you're making noise, drawing the AI, it's kind of bullshit. I, I like that. No. At that point, it's not sort of a horror. It's a horror with light survival elements. I would not classify it as like a 
proper survival horror. No, but, it's you know, not a full survival horror. Yeah, but like, you know, people will disagree with that because, you know, everyone has their own interpretation of what is survival horror. Reloading. There's a charger on the side. Yeah. I think Resident Evil 2 is a survival horror game. What I, I. It, it definitely... Say again. You were saying? It's not as much of one as it should be because of the. Uh... Mr. X. Not Mr. X. It's like you can stun him and knock him, but it's still kind of. It's still really fucking annoying dealing with stalker type enemies like that. Um, I think it was a good addition with Mr. X. I think Nemesis was ironically done worse, considering that it was kind of the reverse in the original Resident Evil 2 3, where Nemesis was better than. Um, yeah. oh, we gotta destroy this barricade. Gas her. There's gas her. No, I think my. Shoot it, game, please. Okay, apparently not. Maybe we have to yeah, go up to interact with it? One thing I don't oh, yeah, you have to. I'll wait till this is over before doing it, but you have to go up to it and get it. More than Mr. X that I dislike is the. Oh. the is that it punishes you for actually conserving it and being indulgent with it, because the zombies, the damage you do, it all scales. Yeah, that's bullshit. And that is, that is fucking okay. stupid. Is it, are you sure it's not only on difficult, like certain difficulties, or is that just in general? I think that's just in general. Oh, you have to put them in the barricade and then shoot them. Right, yeah, get clear. but uh, that's that's horseshit. That's complete. Yeah, that's active punishment. Like the a good survival horror should balance punishing the player, uh, aka making the player use ammo versus. Um, you know, other stuff. Like, I don't know. I can't really think of something right now. I'm playing this, but... Yeah. And then I know that, uh... Another thing that's with survival horror in the Resident Evil 2 remake disincentivizes... Like, it disincentivizes the use of ammo while at the same time giving you the illusion that it's good to not use it with the, uh, liquors, specifically. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't... Got you. Regardless of what you do, you don't get a choice. And then, oh, there goes Ellis. Yeah, he was, he was on a flat thing. Oh, run. I'm charged. Fuck. Oh, fuck. It's a running sequence. Throw your pipe. Throw your pipe. I, I'm trying. It's out. Take your advantage. Trying. You want to come for me still, despite. Um, and especially. Oh my god. There's a smoker and a jockey. Oh! The safe house is right there. Wow, that was brutal. Uh, yeah, it's just fucking give it a out of the blue running sequence and spam fucking specials at you through the whole thing. Okay. Oh. Fuck going through that whole level again. We're just gonna skip to the end. Okay. So, to call vote? Oh, I can't vote. No. Remember? Oh, well, oh, well, it'll go through. I'm not going through that entire fucking level again. That is such a ridiculously long level, and then that fucking... The special spam, I just don't understand why it ramped up so much there. Uh, I think it was because they were getting all stuck behind the barricade instead of coming over. No, the thing is, we fucking... Um, right before it exploded, it was like, run to the safe room, there was a smoker... A jockey and a charger. That's three snatching specials. Yeah. We kill those, save for the smoker, and, and start died. pushing through. And then the smoker's still alive, then it spawns a jockey and a hunter. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that's fucking stupid. Well, we lost all of our stuff, and considering the safe room, the safe rooms in this campaign, I don't think we're going to get a lot. No, we're probably not going to get much, but it's the finale, so... I mean, if it's a well-designed finale, hopefully there's fucking shit there. Yeah.
But no, that uh, that wouldn't have been as bad as it was if this fucking special spam didn't happen. I don't know why that happened. Also, it shouldn't have. the fucking pipe on they're still running into me. Granted, they were trying to run. They, you know, I was trying to run forward, and they yeah, they try to me, run but... past you if you get in their pathing, they'll hit you instead. But yeah, it's it's frustrating. We would have been fine if it wasn't for the fucking special spam, though. Yeah. Let's see, med kits and nothing med else. Kits and that's it. All right. Let's look back. No, we Where can were look we? At this. There's, there's going to be more oh, weapons. Oh, out look here, at I'm this! Sure. Look at this! Look at this! They didn't block off the door, and they didn't block the sight lines. So now it just looks empty on the other side over here. Mm. <laughs> there's all those missing obstructions. Yeah. So it's a little bit of. All right. Well, there's weapons literally right there on that Humvee with laser sights. So. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll take the uh, scar out. I'm gonna take the scar because this is actually yeah. a fairly ranged area. Is this gonna be another. Is this the parish equivalent? Laser sight. I really fucking hope not. Oh, okay, well, that's a long bridge. Right with this yeah. Are you taking the pipe or the molly? Uh, is there a pipe? It's pipe right here, yeah. It's like the pipe. Yeah. There's been no auto right, auto snipers. Uh, the Benelli we just got right there, right? That's the second time we've seen a Benelli. No, there's been Benellis throughout the whole campaign. There was one on the second, or first level, I think. Oh, I we up. did see an auto sniper with the Left 4 Dead 1 snipers. Yeah, the military one? Yeah. The military sniper? Yeah. Well, well, for me, they were like the uh, ETS or whatever. So was, I don't remember. They're from one of the... They're from Code Veronica. The one that was retconned. Oh, I never played Code Veronica. Hey, yeah, I just know him through... Code Veronica, honestly, was the only... Oh, I just saw Hunter drop its death. Code yeah, Veronica... Dead we gotta go oh, we could jump over stuff. here. No, no, you just jump over this, this barrier of barbed wire. I don't know why. There's more pills here, which is not 100% nice. I what we thought. I like how we did go through the entire night, although I think... Oh, is that Jimmy Gibbs' car? Yeah, look, right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Of um, I think if we did go through the night, I would prefer that the, the alleys would not be the nighttime section, <laughs> though. I think that added to the ambience, honestly. It, it did definitely add to it, especially with, like, the brothel and everything. And another fucking pipe bomb here. Should I switch out the molly for this? Pipe bomb. Are you just going to throw one of them? Uh, I might as well. We're not coming back for it. Yeah. Oh, I hear a lot of them, so that's probably a good idea. I think there are a lot of them are under this bridge we're on. Yeah, Just they got a lot of them on the top. Oh, this is a dead end. We can't... Yeah, we have to go down here somewhere. Oh, fuck. I think we got to trigger yeah. the finale down there at that truck or something, because that's a hard, like, uh... It's an invisible wall. Yeah, but, uh... I think survival horrors came and it have been done better. Oh, there's a chainsaw. Oh, here. I got a PKM here. It's M60. I'm not going to take that because I get the feeling oh, that... explosive. Yeah, grab that. Put that down. I'm going to take that chainsaw. Oh, there's multiple things of explosive ammo and shit. Yeah, this is the... Oh. Is this a holdout? Oh, is it yeah, a radio? It's about to be a running oh. finale. I can tell. Yeah. There's more first aids, bile jar. I'm going to take this bile jar. Gun. Okay, I'm taking the PKM just to show it off, to be honest. But this might be a bit terrible idea. That yeah, probably is, honestly. Uh, got Rather your first aid back. Ammo. Yeah, I just gotta play this other one down because I fucking stupidly. There's no reason to. We're gonna leave this place in a second here. Unless it actually is about to be a holdout sequence, but I, it doesn't seem like it, honestly. Let's, let's There's go, no weapon piles. Let's go up a little bit because we can get a kind of an eye on what we're doing here from up here. I. There's stuff oh. beyond this. Well, here's the thing. Well. There's an M there's a mounted gun up here as well and a katana. Okay, we it might just be hold out then. All right. Yeah, cuz look beyond those trucks. I come up here and look beyond those trucks. There's nothing there on the other side of the map. So, where would we be being picked up though would be the question. I think it's a boat. Look, there's a broken uh, yeah, wall right in front of you. A boat. No, 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 no. There was a helicopter flying around. Remember, there's probably he's probably gonna fucking hover right here or just off the edge of there. Absolute chat if he does. Uh, we should probably yeah. move some right, of these uh, containers. There's a lot of containers up here. And I'm moving this. I'm moving this thing of ammo up here and planting it. Oh shit. Adrenaline 
throwing a can out there. Katana here. Wow, they do they really just spawn right there? Yeah, I guess so. Probably a waste of the two cans, but you know. This gun's practically oh. over here. I'm gonna get off of it for now. I guess the chain reaction of those cans blew up the. Uh... I'm gonna get my med kit by the way, it's down below. Probably a good idea. Oh, here comes the tank. No, well, I got a molly, so I'm there. Down he here. spawned up there. Again? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw the molly when he gets down. Get. I'm gonna get out of this tower. I don't want to be up yeah. there. The tank comes up these stairs. He can throw that truck, by the way, so be oh, careful. Cool. Oh, that truck. I thought you meant the other truck. Yeah. Oh, well, it's going now. We don't worry about it. He's the fuck. Yeah, Already he, dead. I used the PKM on him a little bit. Uh, uh, smoker up above. Or no, it's oh, Hunter. Yeah. You're going back up. Yep, calling back up as well. What do you think the chances are that this will, uh... Oh, that's satisfying. Damn. Mm -hmm. 50 cows entirely overheated still. Really? Oh, wow. Well, let me see, how long does I have left? 10 seconds before it's usable. Jockey. Do jockey. It's burning. Oh wow, another... Why would they just make him spawn right there? And not I, I... This finale feels That's like it's not boring. done. Stop, oh, there's smoke there. I'm out of ammo, I gotta get a new weapon by the way. I'm gonna throw a pipe no, actually. No, there's an ammo pile, there's an ammo can by the boss down there. There are no new weapons to pick up actually at all. Oh wait, no, you don't have to go to the ammo right? Don't take leave of your senses. I guess if you want to let me get on the gun and you have the... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Something's taking a lot of damage from something. The charger trying to come up here. Nice. Uh, another tank. I don't have a small dub now. Yeah, I'm coming down. Where's the uh, There's tank one by the... It's coming down the same way. There's some mollies by the uh, tower. Or by the truck. I got him. Is he coming up? I he's going to. I'd get down from there now. No, he's not coming up. He's coming right. after me. I can lure him into the gun's field of fire. Yeah, let me get on the gun. Please. There, dead. there we go. I think that probably is the end of the Oh, another Get tank! And a hunter. Why two in a row? It's coming up again. Here. Got, did you run through it? No, he didn't. He's coming up. All the way up, I wonder. Oh, no, he's on not. The he's going after me now. Yeah, if you stand on this outside edge, like balcony edge, he'll oh, try to go down. Smoker. He's dead. Alright, are you going to lure him into the field of fire? I can get him I'm again. trying to. He's not... He's, he's going after you again. Okay, I'm going down again. Yeah, he's coming right up. Yep, going the outside edge. Nice hop back down. Yep. It, so if you get on this outside edge, the tank can't get you. See where I am? Defib unit here. Yeah. Please shoot him. Oh, they got him. And Nick's standing in the way. Nice. Jockey coming down on the left side. There's a charge on the right side. He's oh, helicopter. Coming in. That's Come on, going, we're going. Jockey on me, Jockey on me. I see him. He's dead. I'm throwing a bile jar. He's landing right where we thought he was. Oh no. Yeah. No, to the left. Throwing a pipe. Throwing a pipe. Oh, what the fuck? I keep it in. You're in. Hey, yeah, we all got out that time. Oh, there's another tank. That was a really weak finale. I don't think it was that weak, but. Eh. 
I mean, it used. Uh, I it, think the I think the bridge. In, I think it in general could have just been designed better with the map. On custom music. But uh, I think it was fun. It was definitely fun. I think the alleys were the worst. Yeah, the alleys were the worst part, especially with that fucking little running section. So that took an hour, total of an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, of course, we're not going to get all the correct, you know, stats, but. I would say yeah. we probably shot over 2,000 for sure. Oh, we, I'm pretty sure we killed over like 3,000 easily. Yeah. This is actually a pretty productive night despite uh, Sniper not showing up. It's okay. Uh, oh, fuck's on six. I had dead ass just woke up. Like, I, I fell asleep on accident. I had to go to the grocery store and get, like, some fucking drugs to fuck myself up to make, make me go back to sleep. What coincidental timing? Do you want to play another one, M1? It's fine if you yeah. don't. I, yeah, I okay. just chilled. Uh, let me, let me start it up. 376 in that last one. I got something cool for you guys. You want to buy a cool game? What? Pack of games. What is it? It's the Fuhrer Deluxe Pack. <laughs> what?